Ah, responding to Lacey Green, YouTube's punching bag. Well, I should say, bags. Okay, let's start the video. Good morning, YouTube land. Ugh. Um, clearly wasn't planning to make a video. I don't think I've ever filmed one in my car before. Um, but I'm on my way to Philadelphia and I have been having, admittedly, like not the best week. I've been having, the main thing is that I've been having some pretty serious family problems. Um, but also Rita Skeeter decided to write a New York Times article about me and now people are blowing up this story about me. Um, submitting an inquiry about copyright violation to YouTube. So I kind of want to talk about what happened and also connected to a broader phenomenon that I've noticed and my relationship with Philip DeFranco. Alright, so a bit of context for some of you who may not know about this, but Lacey reported a video by Roaming Millennial in which Roaming Millennial used a picture of Lacey in her thumbnail and apparently, according to Lacey, this violates the TOS of YouTube and she tried to have the video pulled and thankfully didn't. Philip DeFranco made a video about this, and I'll link all of the videos in my description. But yeah, just in case you guys were wondering how this whole YouTube drama shit with Lacey started. You no, know, I don't usually engage with this shit because I don't think that the YouTube drama black hole vortex is a positive thing. You know, I don't think attacking people and relying on misplaced outrage um, is a good way to build the community. I don't think that it's a positive force. I think it's really toxic. Exactly. So that's why I'm gonna make a video responding to the drama and stir the drama pot myself, because I don't like drama, guys. And I also think it's just really cheap content. You know, it's lowest common denominator stuff, and it doesn't really require you to engage with issues or to be creative or to invent something that's really cool. It's just kind of easy. Well, it's also entertaining, which is one reason why so many people engage in it. They watch videos about it. It's basically capitalizing on content you know people will watch and really no one's an exception to that rule. Not even you, Lacey. You know, with video titles and thumbnails that aren't clickbaity at all. And yeah, I'm no exception to that rule either. But here's the difference, Lacey. I fucking admit it. All this YouTube drama stuff is a big reason why I don't really watch YouTube anymore. And it's kind of sad because YouTube used to be my favorite. I mean, there are a few good YouTubers out there that I still watch, but for the most part, I don't even really go online anymore because it just seems like such a toxic, negative place. <laughs> oh, fuck. You guys don't even know why that's funny yet. Well, keep that comment fresh in your head because it's coming back up. Um, so... Let me talk about um, the context of what happened. I had received a bunch of emails from people who told me about a channel where the user was th sort of making their icons to look like it was me. And all these people were emailing me saying, I thought it was you. They're deliberately misleading people. They're using your images. They're using copyrighted stuff. Is there something you can do about it? And the evidence to all this is just to show the thumbnail and nothing else. Um, okay, well, I went to her channel, and her icon doesn't look like you, the videos don't look like yours, and her channel art doesn't look like yours, so, this statement's a complete fucking joke, unless you're not talking about Roaming Millennial, but that's what started this whole thing, was Roaming Millennial's video, which you had a problem with, so if you're not talking about her, then who the hell are you talking about? I mean, come on, then show us the emails then, Lacey, come on, show us them. Show us the emails, Hillary. I mean, I mean, uh, Lacey. So I submitted an inquiry to YouTube, um, to my YouTube manager. They're there to answer your questions. And she sent me the form to submit an inquiry. Um, and basically that form will look over the issue and they will decide whether or not it's fair use, whether it not or not it's a policy violation. So I submitted this inquiry. Um, I haven't heard, I haven't really followed up. I don't really know what happened with it. I don't usually submit inquiries usually um my videos are flagged automatically if someone just re-uploads the entire thing um back on youtube there's an automated process that will flag that and then it'll let me know and i can choose if i want to monetize that video if i want to take that video down because it's mine um but for people who make their own videos and then incorporate my content that is fair use and i um i fully respect an engaged dialogue about the issues that I talk about, and I think people have a right to criticize. Well, all right. I guess I trust that for now. But if my video gets flagged, though, Lacey, I'm gonna be pissed, and I'm gonna use you in my thumbnail. So you know, you know, I'm a, I'm a do that. Um. So I generally just don't 
touch this stuff in general, but I do take issue with these channels that are trying to um, fool people into thinking that it's me, that are deliberately misleading and using my image basically to make money on monetized videos where the videos aren't even about me, they have nothing to do with me. But she didn't. She didn't do anything like that. I agree with you, sure, if somebody takes your content, uploads it, say that they're you, and try to make money off your shit, then yeah, yeah, no, they should be taken down. But this wasn't the case though, Lacey, and you know that. Also, that last part is kinda iffy. That video did indeed have shit to do with you, Lacey. The video itself wasn't directly about you, but about the things you advocate for and the ideas you support. And the video was against that. She was against cultural appropriation and spoke of why it was harmful and used your picture as reference. Cause you are a person who advocates that bullshit. I know because I watched the fucking video. But you're just being a liar and trying to cover your ass on this. Like honestly, honestly, like what's wrong with just saying, hey guys, this is Lacey and I apologize to Roman Millennial for what I did. It was wrong on my part and I probably shouldn't have done that. Like what's wrong with just saying that? Okay, when he and everyone else on YouTube uses the term smaller YouTube channels, they are talking about the subscriber count, not the view count. You have over a million subscribers. She has over 50,000 subscribers. You know this, but yet you're talking about the view count. What the fuck does the view count have to do with her YouTube channel? There are a lot of small YouTube channels that get lots of views on videos. If you need a source of reference, just look at my channel. Currently, currently, at the making of this video, I have over 2,000 subscribers. The first video I ever made on my channel about Milo Stewart has gotten over 30,000 views. So yeah, Lacey, you're kind of attacking a smaller YouTube channel by comparison. That's per absolutely within my right to submit that inquiry. This is pretty standard procedure on YouTube. Philip knows this. <laughs> He's a YouTuber. He knows that we have a right to enforce our copyright when it's appropriate. But in this case, it wasn't appropriate, and everyone started calling you out on it. And you're upset by that now, and just can't admit that you were wrong. And so I submitted an, an inquiry about this to YouTube. Like I said on Twitter, I respect whatever a verdict that YouTube delivers because I respect the system and I respect that YouTube as a company I think that they do know what they're doing <laughs> Play the fucking clip YouTube used to be my favorite I mean there are a few good YouTubers out there that I still watch but for the most part I don't even really go online anymore because it just seems like such a toxic negative place Oh I'm sorry it's just that bullshit makes me laugh Oh man anyway where were we? Despite all of the fear mongering online, a lot of people just don't understand YouTube's policies. I don't think that this issue is really about, you know, copyright and fair use. Um, I think that Philip DeFranco and the other people who made videos about me, attacking me on this the past few days, um, are really seeing this as an opportunity to go in on the narrative that feminists are out to censor people. Oh, Jesus Christ, cry me a fucking river. So once again, Lacey, in your YouTube career, you are shifting the narrative and making this about something else. Look, look, I, I don't care. Okay, I don't care that you're a feminist. I don't, okay? I, I kind of, I really don't. That's not, that's not what this video is about. That, that isn't the point of this video. It's criticizing what you're saying and doing. That's always been what my channel, at least, has been about and a lot of other people's channels as well. So this bullshit rhetoric about, oh fuck my feminism, it's, it's not gonna work, Lacey, okay? It isn't. No one's falling for this. It's a part of, you know, broader negative stereotypes about feminists that were hysterical um, and sensitive. Yeah, because you don't look hysterical or sensitive at all in this video. I like sarcasm. So, you know, I don't really, see this as being about me specifically. I see it as people having a bone to pick and whether or not that's a legitimate bone to pick is, you know, a whole other question. What? It, it's without a doubt about you and Philip DeFranco and Roman Millennial. N -n -not, not feminism. A and funny, she kind of acts like she is the vessel of feminism, no? Because if you criticize her or attack her, then really you're attacking feminism itself. Because Lacey Green is feminism. Phil 
Phil's video in particular also has another context, and that is my relationship with Phil. You know, some of you know, you've seen, you know, videos that we've done together. Phil and I used to be friends, and I used to have a lot of respect for him. Phil has had a few very public sort of um, lashes out at me. And actually there is an irony to this because the last time that Phil really lashed out at me publicly um, was when I was talking about Amtrak and public Wi-Fi networks that were censoring access to sex education in information, lumping them in with porn. And I was tweeting about how, you know, these networks and um, public access and school computers should be making a distinction between porn and educational content and Phil just went off the rails. It was the weirdest thing ever. I was really hurt because, you know, this was before I really realized that Phil hates me. All right. So were you two in person when he lashed out at you or was it over Twitter or some other social media site? Because there's a big difference and this story you're telling us, at least to me, seems fabricated. It sounds fabricated to me because you could show us the Twitter or Facebook or whatever video that he said all this shit and you're not going to do that. Not one bit of evidence to back up your claim right now because you're claiming that Philip did this. I mean, I don't know him. I don't really watch all of his shit. But if he made a video about it, if he said this stuff on social media, then you could reference it. So this is a story that we're just going to have to take your word that he just lashed out at you out of anger because he hates you, right? Oh, and of course, you have to tell us the story now and straw man Philip DeFranco and try to make him look like the bad guy, right? Oh, oh, he hates me. He lashed out at me. Give me a fucking break. Um, and I didn't really understand why he hates me and why he was going off on this because, you know, we had talked about censorship before and we're both pretty anti-censorship. So, you know, I thought that was not a controversial issue, particularly not with him, but... Yeah, well, it became the problem when you censored someone. That's when it became the fucking problem. Because you advocate for one thing and then do something that completely goes against that narrative that you were preaching. Oh, uh, fuck, there's a word for that. Um, 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 oh yeah, it's hypocrisy. That's what the fuck that is. I think he lost a lot of respect for me when I started making feminist videos. Do you think or do you know there's a difference? And stop with these stupid stories about DeFranco. No one is buying your bullshit, lady. Um, he obviously has some disagreements with me, and that's fine. That's all that I can deduce because that is the exact time that things just sort of went from hot to cold. Um, so that's unfortunate, and I think that, you know, people should try to understand each other and understand where they're going. I think we really need to think twice about this culture of getting angry about stuff that really isn't that big of a deal. So why are you doing this video in which you are acting like this is a big deal? Because you know what, there are things to be angry about in the world right now. I just don't think that petty stuff on YouTube is in that category. Thanks for watching you all. I am making a video about HPV. It's taken me forever and I've been traveling for a month so I haven't had a chance to film it, but hopefully I will have that up for you guys shortly and I have some really fun collaborations that are coming up too. I love y'all. Please take care of yourselves. Thank you for your ongoing support. We'll keep on keeping on. Mwah. Yeah, no one cares. Lacey Green, from me to you, a little advice. Maybe when you're wrong, you should just admit when you're wrong and just apologize to someone because because honestly, that goes a long way. Honesty itself goes a long way. To do some soul searching, uh, to look at a mirror and go, well, maybe it's me, you know? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I fucked up. You know, maybe I did something wrong. It's not that hard to do, honestly. It's not really that hard. But until that time, many people, including myself, are just going to show people who you really are. A drama queen, a liar, and a big old fucking crybaby.